So, you've just set up a Windows Server and you want to make a remote desktop connection to it to install some software for example but when you try it, it fails to connect and you realise that you forgot to enable remote access on it. The easiest way to enable remote access remotely is with just a couple of lines of PowerShell. We're using invoke command which will allow us to run the command contained within the script block on the remote computer specified in the computer name parameter. The first command that we want to run will modify a registry key on the remote computer. The key specifies that remote connections should be denied by default. So, to enable connections, we need to disable the deny terminal server connections flag by using set item property to set it to zero. If we now try to connect again to the remote desktop, it will still fail, as there is still one more thing that we need to enable. And again by default, the Windows firewall is not configured to allow remote desktop connections. Fortunately, there is a predefined rule, so all we need to do is enable the rule by running the enable net firewall rule command. Test the remote desktop connection again, and this time it should work. I hope that you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.